There is a new client for Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.20.50. And 1.20.51 of course as well. This client is Prax Client, one that you may have actually kind of have heard of before as there's been a lot of talk about it recently. As you can see, this is version 1.0.0, made for, as I said, 1.20.50. Anyways, to download it, you want to head over to their GitHub page, which I will link down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here in under the Releases tab, you want to make sure that you expand this Assets area and download this Prax.dll right there by clicking on it. So here I have Minecraft, in this case 1.20.51, but you can use 1.20.50 as well. Anyways, I have Fade Client Injector over here too, which is something you'll need to inject the DLL file into Minecraft. Now some of you may be aware of the fact that there is actually a custom launcher for Prax Client. However, as of yet, I am unsure about the safety of this actual launcher. And thus, I don't want to make a mistake that I have actually made once in the past, and I'm not going to have you guys download it just because I am unsure. If there are any updates on that, I will leave it in the pinned comment. So if there isn't one, then I don't recommend using it, and I just recommend using this method, directly downloading the DLL file, and then injecting it with Fade Client Injector, which will actually be linked down in the description for you. Anyways, you can go, once you know you have this right here, I can just go into select into my downloads and grab the Prax DLL. Now that I have it right there, I can click on the inject button. And as you can see, take a look at that. Prax client has been injected. Now, what if you use Fade Client Injector? Click on inject. It says process found, everything is all good, except it doesn't actually inject or it Minecraft just completely crashes, right? Well, what do you do then? Well, there's actually a fix tutorial on that down in the description for the ones of you who are experiencing that error. Also, that error is not going to be solved by using the custom Prax injector, so I still don't recommend using it. Alright, now I'll just head into a random Minecraft world right here and briefly show you guys how to use this. If you want a full in-depth tutorial, then let me know down in the comments and I will make that. Anyways, here we are inside of Minecraft, and let's get right in. So, to work with this client, you can actually open up the hack or utility menu by pressing on the insert button on your keyboard. Take a look at this. Doesn't that look incredibly clean? Anyways, if you can't find the insert key or just want to rebind it in general, well, then you can actually go into the chat, type in dot bind, just like this, then click GUI and then just whatever key you want, for example, F. And now, as you can see, successfully bound, click GUI to F, which means that whenever I click on F, it'll open and then I can click on F again to close it, as you can see. Anyways, there are a few things here and I'm going to walk through them. So, basically, to enable something, you can, as you can see, click on it and to disable it you can click on it once again you can see if that things are enabled by this highlighted white color right here um, and now some of these as you can see are enabled by default and you can just disable them so this IRC is internet relay chat which allows for communication to other users as you can see whenever you hover above these there are um, little little descriptions that pop up, right? So let's say I don't want that, which maybe not all of you do. Well, it is disabled, it is enabled by default, but as you can see, I can just click on that to disable it. Same with if I close this, as you can see in the top left and top right hand sides, there is an array list as well as a Prax logo. I can once again open this up and I can turn off the HUD as well as the watermark and the array list and take a look at that they are now all gone so if i didn't like them invading in on you know the space i can see on my screen well then you've fixed that right now now of course you can turn them on again once uh, if, if you wish what the array list basically does is it displays all currently enabled um, utilities now as you can see 
a lot or really most of these have a plus which means that you can not only left click on them to enable them but you can also actually right click on them and that'll allow for some customization as you can see some have more customization than others um, Wow, for example, Scaffold has a surprising amount of customization. Um, so basically, that is how to use that. Um, you can customize them to uh, configure them to, for example, bypass specific um, anti-hacks and stuff like that. However, that's really all up to you how you use that. There's also a settings button in the bottom right hand side over here, which is going to allow you to change some settings for the click GUI, as you can see, allowing you to enable, for example, RG the RGB. There's a miscellaneous settings, size, font, and colors of this click GUI, which is, for the ones of you who don't know, basically this right here as well, and also allow you to load and save configs for the way this looks. Now, just, you know, FYI, this is all really into here. This is all just visual, what this is. Anyways, basically, that's really all I need to know to get started with this client. If you do have any questions, then feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, that was basically it. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.